Hello, this is Dr. Fig from Fig Natural Health, and today we're going to be talking about Nux Moschata. Stupor, insensibility, unconquerable sleep, sleepy with most all complaints, excessive dryness of the tongue, lips, mouth, and throat, with no thirst, aggravated in cold, damp weather from getting wet or washing, also after eating ameliorated in a room and in dry weather. Changeable humor, one moment laughing, the next crying. The nutmeg, though frequently used for its peculiar flavor in common cookery, is nevertheless a powerful poison, hence a valuable remedy. The mind and sensorium are profoundly affected by it, as shown by the following characteristic symptoms. Quote, stupor and insensibility and unconquerable sleep. Again, quote, vanishing of thought while talking, reading, or writing. Again, quote, weakness or loss of memory. Again, quote, fitful mood changing from deepest sorrow to frolicsome behavior, now grave, now gay. Again, quote, Absence of mind, cannot think, has to collect his thoughts before he can answer simple questions. Many more symptoms appear among the provings that show the action of this drug upon the brain. The effect upon the brain, while producing a sleepiness and dullness almost equal to that of opium, is of an entirely different character. The opium, being seemingly due to fullness of the blood vessels and pressure, while well, that of Nux Machata seems to be a benumbing of the very nerve substance itself. It is interesting to notice the sleepiness of opium, Nux Machata, and Tartar Medic, or Antimonium Tartarica, and to study these drugs in comparison. Opium and Tartar Medic, aka Antimonium Tartaricum, are often remedies for pneumonia, but the concomitant symptoms are very different. Opium and Nux Vomica in typhoid fever, uh, but the choice notwithstanding this symptom of stupor common to both is not all that difficult. All three of these remedies in bowel complaints of children have this symptom in common, the stupor, but it is not hard to choose between them. Another very characteristic symptom of this remedy is excessive dryness of the mouth mouth so dry that the tongue sticks to the roof, yet no thirst. The tongue, lips, and throat are all dry. Of course, there are other remedies having this dryness without thirst, such as apis, pulsatilla, and lachesis. But in this respect, Nux Moschata is the strongest. Then again, Nux Moschata is greatly troubled with flatulence. The abdomen is enormously distended, especially after meals. There are two remedies which have pain and distress in the stomach immediately after eating, even when the patient is still at the table. They are Nux Machata and Cali Bichromicum. With Nux Vomica and Anacardium, the pain comes on an hour or two after eating. With Nux Machata, everything they eat seems to turn to wind, like calicarb and iodine, and fills the stomach and abdomen so full as to cause pressure upon all of the organs of the chest and abdomen. Again, there is diarrhea with this remedy. It is very efficacious in cholera and phantom when the above-mentioned sensorial symptoms are present. I once had a very severe case of typhoid fever of the nervous stupida variety. On account of the stupidity, the yellow watery diarrhea, the rumbling and bloating of the abdomen, I surely thought phosphoric acid must help, but it did not. I finally discovered the excessive dryness of the mouth, which had escaped my attention before. This completed the picture for Nux Moschata. Under the action of the 200th potency, 
the patient rapidly approved unto complete recovery. So we must watch out when the seemingly indicated remedy does not cure. For it may not be sulfur, opium, lorosirazis, or serinum that will have to be given. As we said when writing on opium and sulfur, uh, but we have not, no matter what the seemings, chosen the homeopathic remedy at all. And, as in this case, some symptom may appear that will change the prescription entirely. <clears throat> now, we will notice in detail the mind and sensorium symptoms that we have given, by way of comparison. I will add to the comparison made between this remedy, Apis Malefica which has soporose sleep, but it is interrupted by piercing screams, especially in brain diseases, where the sopor is generally found. None of the other remedies have these screams, cry encephalique, encephalique so prominently. Quote, vanishing of thought while talking, reading, or writing may find their similar under camphor, cannabis indica, and lachesis. Quote, loss of memory under many remedies, but notably under anacardium, lycopodium, bryonia alba, sulfur, and natrum muriaticum. The quote, fitful changing moods in disposition is found under aconite, ignatia, crocus, and natrum muriaticum. The fitful changing moods in disposition Disposition is also found under aconite, ignatia, crocus, and patina. Quote, absence of mind, anacardium, creosote, lachesis, natrum muriaticum, and mercurius. I notice that those remedies that are oftenest similar to nux moschata in its mind and other symptoms are often found among the so-called hysteric remedies. And why not? For Nux Machata is one of our best in this hydra-headed complaint. Taking together all of the symptoms we have been over and adding to them that other one, quote, easy fainting, where can you find a more complete general picture of the average hysteric? I will not use more space here for this remedy, but recommend to every careful student and practitioner who does not already understand it a careful study of this certainly valuable drug. That it has not received the use and practice that it should is due, I have no doubt, to the fact that it is used so frequently in foods. The many think it cannot be much of a remedy. Thank you all very much for listening, and take care.